1938, Graham Page Motors Corporation came out with the Spirit of Motion, known publicly as the Shark Nose. From those cars, we have found there are two different dome lights. We're going to explain it to you in this video. This particular dome light came out of a two-door sedan, was not a custom two-door sedan, it was not a supercharged two-door sedan, it was just a plain two-door sedan, completely rusty, that came off of Long Island in New York. We bought it for a parts car to use to finish our two-door sedan, the only one we know for sure exists in the world. Topic here though is the dome light. This is the actual dome light out of the car. It pops off, it's just a plastic dome light lens, this modeling in it looks really kind of cool. Not sure if that isn't just an age thing. I'm not sure it really was supposed to look like that. That's a plastic lens from back in the 1930s. Very early plastic. This is the actual dome light housing. You'll notice that there's our mount for our light bulb here. There are one, two, three screws. And you've got this metal surround that has ribs in it. Now what's interesting about this is this is the first time we've ever seen a dome light that looked like this. Normally what we have seen with these cars, but they were all supercharged cars, is a dome light that looks like this. So I'm going to move this out of the way. This is the dome light base from one of the supercharged cars that we have had. And you can see there are ribs in it on the sides. It's flat on each side. And then there's a hole drilled here and here. The purpose of the holes is so that you can apply the lens. And yes, this is an original lens. This is about the condition the lenses end up showing in because the 1930s plastic they used was so bad they warped like this. These lenses came in two colors. This is the lighter of the two colors. Now if you look, you can see here and here are holes. They correspond where you put a screw on each side, a stainless steel screw, and this would screw on and be that way in the car. And we'll show you a finished reproduction one in one of our cars in just a moment. So that's how they did this. But now let's look at the interesting thing. These two parts are the same. If you look at it, you can see these ridges. You can see the same ridge over here. You can see the exact same mount, the exact same locations for screws. What Graham actually did is they cut down the outer edge of this cut off the sides, and made this into the base that we see here that we've normally seen with the cars we have owned, and that base uses that lens. This base uses this lens. Was this a running change? We don't know. Was it actually something that they changed for all the cars, or was this used only in the lowest line cars? We're literally not sure. We have no reference to say it, but there are two different dome lights that were used in Graham's Spirit of Motion cars between 1938 and 1940. The normal one we have seen, as we've said, is in fact this style with this lens. Now we're going to show you what it looks like in one of our cars with a reproduction lens, the way it should actually appear well, using that base that just got away from me instead of the standard base. Remember, they took the standard base and modified it. It's very obvious when you see them side by side. We're in our Graham combination coupe that we've got most of the way done. We're gonna open the door and show you the dome light. The way we're used to them appearing, this is complete with a reproduction lens, as you can see, lit up up there. In this car, we're actually using a light emitting diode to give you more light than normal. But that's the shield style lens that we're used to. So now you've seen that there were two different dome lights on Graham Spirit of Motion cars. But again, we don't know if it's a running change or if the basic cars got the simple dome light and the custom cars or custom superchargers got the fancy dome light. 
Hope this sheds a little information, a little light on the topic. There are actually two dome lights used in Spirit of Motion cars between 1938 and 1940.